One year on from graduation, new designers face a multitude of challenges, often relocating, setting up a new business alongside creating new work. Leading design experts Dayan Sujic and Luke Pearson went to London's New Designers Fair to see who stood out. They looked at 56 designers who were exhibiting their work one year on from graduating, with objects ranging from interactive wallpaper to ceramic vessels. This collection is called The Death of Lucretia and it follows the story of a Roman historic figure called Lucretia and the many paintings that were painted by a lot of the great masters of her story. Um, by applying images onto the clay body, I then map up out significant points with pins. They're removed, which creates a geometric structure, which is then carved by hand with a scalpel. It's a motivational reading mechanism, and it's supposed to make people read more. Um, the way it works is that you place the books that you want to read over here and once you finish with one you transfer it to the bottom shelf. So in order for it to work you need to keep on reading the books that you have and keep on buying new books. Otherwise uh, that shelf gets overbounded and drops everything. So I'm inspired by mid-century stuff, Scandinavian design as well. Uh, just really clean lines and simple shapes. I get all the timber into the workshop um, in raw form. Comes in through and through boards with bark and uh, sap and everything else on still. Yeah, all this, all the furniture here has uh, got a clear lacquer on. I trained on an industrial uh, DBA knitting machine, which is those really kind of old-fashioned, rickety-looking <laughs> uh, machines. When I graduated. Um, I just started working and saving towards getting a studio space and uh, industrial equipment. Um, so I now have my own DBA, which is great, so I can just keep sampling and swatching and keep developing my technique and the product. I have really enjoyed seeing the variation of traditional skills and real un unbelievable sort of craftsmanship. So looking for exciting, fresh design, innovative process, but we're also looking for a strength of voice from the designer, someone who knows what they're working towards, knows what their market is. You know, that they really have explored everything that in involves um, establishing yourself as um, a creative business. I use Instagram on a daily basis, um, follow a lot of different designers <laughs> and makers, and um, I'm always up uploading st my stuff myself. So yeah, it's a really big part of design process and you know to help help evolve my, my, my work really. Today um, with the ease of being able to set up an online store with social media it means that people are much more in control and can do things themselves but it also means that it's a lot easier to get lost. After visiting the fair, Diane and Luke reviewed the exhibitors together and selected those that had the X factor. Luke, what was it like walking into new designers? Did it make you go back to what it was like when you graduated from college? Was it a very different experience? I think it's remarkably similar. I mean, you can see the same energy on people's faces. I think naivety or innocence or being brave are things which are absolutely essential at that, that age. Did you get a sense of one unifying theme, or was it many? For me, I think it was the fusion of craft and technology. People who were either using it as influence or actually bringing it into the work directly. Um, but at the same time, there was a restraint in a lot of these designers where there was no technology at all. Um, there was no need for it, and I think that showed a, a great sense of confidence and comfort in their own abilities. Um, one of the designers who was more or less self-taught in, in his father's workshop and yet there was a strong aesthetic there as well. Yes, and although uh, he described the work as being influenced by mid-20th century to me, I thought it was uniquely uh, him. One thing that never seems to um, go on inspiring designers is using ceramics, porcelain, terracotta. It was a young lady who'd, who'd produced some very beautifully carved and sculpted uh, pieces of porcelain in really quite thick 
section, which is unusual. And she'd carved away uh, these cubist reliefs. By contrast, there was a, a young man who'd, who'd um, produced some very, very simple containers. And he'd simply got the glaze onto his fingers and touched the pots, smeared them. And they reminded me of cave paintings because they were, in a way, the most fundamental, simple thing you can do to something, which is touch it and leave your mark. It's a very changed design landscape from 50 years ago. Social media and technology is playing an ever bigger role in launching new talent, so it's critical for designers to have a distinct voice to get noticed. Serena Tarling, Financial Times, London.